Hello everyone. Today we are going to read What's That Smell? The author is Ashwita Jayakumar. The illustrator is Tariq Aziz. And the publisher is Pratham Books. Now let's read What's That Smell? Tara and her family are home. It's good to be back, isn't it, Tara? Says mom. Tara nods. I'm hungry. Madhav rubs his stomach. I'm so hungry, he says loudly. So who are these people? Tara is this little girl and Madhav is her brother. And these are her mother and father. She calls them Ma and Pa. Uh, and they have just come back home from a trip and they're just going to enter their house and they're all hungry. So let's see what they see and what they eat. We have milk, eggs, bread, and vegetables in the fridge, says Ma. I'll cook dinner, says Pa. Pa, can you make fried rice? Asks Tara. Fried rice, mother echoes. So Tara's mother has remembered that there are some things, milk, eggs, bread, and vegetables are there in the fridge and they can eat that. And her father says that he will cook dinner. So Tara asks her father to make fried rice and Madhav echoes, Madhav also repeats that he also wants fried rice. As soon as Tara, Madhav, Ma and Pa enter the house, they know that something is wrong, very wrong. Gee, what's that smell? cries Tara. A monster! yells Martha. So what happened here? As soon as they open the door and come in the house, they have this horrible smell. They can smell this really bad smell all over the house and they know that something has gone wrong. And they're all wondering, what is that smell? Where is it coming from? And Martha uh, thinks it's a monster, a really bad thing that's waiting for them. So let's see what they find out. It is hot, dark, and stinky. The whole house smells. Where is the smell coming from? When, when they see, walk around the house, the whole house is smelling. And they don't know what that smell is. So where is the smell coming from? Let's see what they find out. Ma checks the bedroom. Martha checks the bathroom. So you can see here that Tara's mother is looking under the bed. She's checking all places in the bedroom. And just like that, Martha was checking in the bathroom to see, hey, where is the smell coming from? Tara checks the dining room. Pa checks the kitchen. And Tara is looking inside the dining room to see maybe the smell is coming from something there they have left. And uh, Tara's father is looking in the kitchen. He's opening the shelves, opening the cupboard to see what's there inside. Is the smell coming from there? It's coming from there, says Pa, pointing at the fridge. A stinky fridge monster, gasps Tara. Scared, says Mother, hugging Ma. Let's open the fridge and see what's inside, says Ma. So it looks like Tara's father, Pa, has found out that the smell is coming from the fridge. 
And Dara thinks it is something really smelly, a smelly, stinky fridge monster, a bad thing, evil thing that's sitting inside the fridge and smelling badly. And Madhav is scared. He hugs his mother and he gets scared of the monster. So Ma says, okay, you know, let's, let's just open the fridge and see what's inside that's making that smell happen. Let's see what they find out. Ma opens the fridge. Everyone covers their noses and mouths. Hmm. It's warm inside and the light is off, says Ma, sticking her arm into the fridge. What happened? asks Sara. The fridge stopped working some time ago, Pa explains. Without the cold air, everything spoiled, says Ma glumly. Has the milk gone bad? asks Sara. Yes, can you smell how sour it is? asks Ma. Milk needs to be kept cold to stay fresh, says Pa. So what happens, what do they find when they open the fridge? When they open the fridge and uh, Tara's mother is putting her arm into the fridge, she can uh, feel that it's not cold. It's warm and the fridge light is off. So she says, oh, it looks like the fridge has stopped working. And without the cold air, everything inside the fridge has spoiled, has gone bad, including the milk. The milk is also gone bad. It smells sour. Uh, and Pa says that milk needs to be kept cold to stay fresh. And uh, Ma is also glum about it. She's sad because all that food is now wasted. It's gone spoiled. Has the bread gone bad? asks Tara. Yes. Do you see that green stuff? That's mold, says Pa. It grows on the bread. Fuzzy, says Mother curiously. Don't touch it, says Pa. You'll fall sick if you eat it. Tara asks if the bread has also gone bad and, the, and Pa says, that this green stuff, can you see the green stuff that's growing on the bread? That stuff is called mold. And when you see mold on the bread, it means that the bread has spoiled. And mother tries to touch it, but pa says don't touch it because if you touch it and you eat it, you will fall sick. So don't touch the mold. Have the vegetables gone bad too? Asks Tara sadly. Yes, they are rotten, says Ma. We can't eat them. You can see in the fridge that the vegetables uh, that are here, it looks like they have also gone bad. They have spoiled. So the spinach and the brinjal and carrots, uh, everything has gone bad. It has spoiled. And they're all sad about it because all of that food is now wasted. Mother picks up an egg and drops it. Mother, now it smells even worse, shouts Tara. Oh no, these have gone bad too, says Pa. Tara is sure she can never eat eggs again. Yuck, 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 cries Mother, running away while Pa cleans up the mess. When Mother picks up an egg, he drops it, and then that smell is so bad that Tara is saying she's never going to eat eggs again. It's that bad, and Mother runs away from that place. 
uh, and power is cleaning up the mess everywhere. They put all the rotten food into garbage bags and clear the fridge. Why do things go bad? asks Tara. Everything goes bad over time. The cold air of the fridge keeps food fresh for longer. When it's warm, food goes bad faster, says mom. So as long as the fridge was working and the air inside the fridge stayed cold, it looks like the food can stay fresh for longer. Everything gets spoiled after some time. It just, as long as it stays cold, it stays okay for a little bit longer. But when the fridge stopped working and it got warm, the food started going bad faster. And all this rotten food that was in the fridge, they have started cleaning it up, putting it into uh, garbage bags and clearing the fridge. Does all food spoil? Asks Tara. Not this rice, says mom. Or these potatoes, at least for a while. And not this pickle, says Pa. And not this ghee, says mom. We can eat ghee rice and potatoes, says Tara happily. So has everything gone bad in the house? No, it looks like the food that was not cooked, that was uh, there like rice and potatoes, it has not gone back. It has not spoiled. And what else is safe? The pickle and the ghee, they are also not spoiled. And so now Tara is happy because she was so hungry. She was thinking, okay, what, what can we eat here? And now she knows that they have the rice and the potatoes and ghee and pickle. And so they can eat ghee, rice and potatoes. So what makes all the food go bad? Let's see. Invisible monsters. Tara and Madhav thought there was an invisible monster in their house. While there was no monster to be found, they were right about there being something invisible. When food goes bad, meaning it cannot be eaten by human beings, it's because something invisible has begun to eat the food. These invisible beings are called microbes. Microbes aren't totally invisible. They are just very, very, very tiny. Tinier than the tiniest insect you've ever seen. You need a machine called a microscope to be able to see them. They look something like this. So when Tara and Mother didn't know what made the food spoil, they thought there was an invisible monster in their house. Uh, what is invisible? It means something that cannot be seen. Now, they were not all that wrong. They said there was an invisible monster. There was no monster, but it was not seen. Why? Because it was so, 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 so small. Have you seen any small insects like bees or ants? You know how small a little ant can be? This is even smaller than that. This is called a microbe. And microbes just cannot be seen by your 
eyes. They are so small. And when these microbes start eating the food, then the food gets back. Then the food cannot be eaten by you or me. It can only be thrown away. It is bad for us. And you need something, a machine, which is called a microscope to be able to see microbes. And this is what they look like when you see them through a microscope. When food goes bad, some foods spoil quicker than others and some foods spoil very slowly. Wet foods, like many fruits and vegetables, spoil faster. Dry foods, like uncooked dal and rice, spoil slower. Eggs, meat and cheese spoil fast. Preserved foods like pickles and ghee spoil very slowly. Packaged foods like biscuits and sweets spoil the slowest. When does different types of food go bad? Something that is the food that is wet, like vegetables and fruits and uh, uh, milk and, you know, uh, they, they spoil the fastest. All of that uh, water inside the food, it makes it spoil very fast. Whereas something that is dry, uh, like uncooked dal, uncooked rice, um, uncooked potatoes, they don't spoil as fast. Uh, eggs, meat and cheese, they spoil very fast. Um, whereas something that is preserved, um, by preserved it means that when you make something like a pickle with putting salt and spice and oil in it, it keeps it fresh for longer. And um, Something packaged, like the biscuit packets and sweet packets that you get from the shop, they spoil the slowest. I hope you enjoyed reading this story with me. Thank you. The difficult words in the story are stinky, smelling bad, invisible. Something that cannot be seen. Glumly. Sadly. Mold. Fuzzy growth on food like bread when it goes bad. Microbe. Living being that is too small to be seen with our eyes. Microscope, machine that makes small things look bigger and can be used to see microbes. Try these at home. What is this story about? Has any food spoiled at your home? What was it? What would spoil the fastest? Cucumber, uncooked rice, ghee, or biscuit?